What's up everybody, my name is Tucker and this is Tuckweed Gaming. I got a new computer and also I have already recorded a whole thing, a whole episode and realized that it didn't work. The recording, the screen recording program that I was using, apparently you have to set it up right. Who knew? So I have a lot of footage that is unusable because it didn't record anything. Um, so I guess uh, I'll just show you what I did and then we'll do something else because um, that really sucks. But I got some chests, I made a bed and crafting table, made a mine, made a garden and I made a little storage place. This is a little shack that I made for um, all the animal stuff, which I have none now because I just started. And then I made a bridge, which is really cool. I put some cherry blossom trees here and uh, there's some flowers down here. I think it looks pretty good. I also found some platypuses, platypi. I have no idea how to pronounce the or I don't I don't know what the plural is for platypus so that's a thing <laughs> um, but yeah like I said I got a new computer so it's a gaming computer now I can play Minecraft uh, way better than on my laptop so that should be good we can have some more videos and I figured out how to use my screen recording now after I failed miserably um yeah that really sucks because we did kind of a lot but i mean it is what it is we'll just have to live with it so um this is gonna be called uh or i guess you know what it's called because it's you you read the title but this is minecraft zoo 2.0 and the reason why i started over instead of just transferring my files over to this computer so we can continue on that series on the original Minecraft Zoo series is because I didn't really like how it was going because um, I started way before I started recording and so, like, so there was a lot of stuff that you guys didn't get to see and I don't think that was very fair to you guys and also a bunch of our animals died when I logged back in up after the update so we're starting fresh and is it nighttime I mean it's close to nighttime but I also got a new um, shader pack this one is uh, I have no idea what it's called I can't remember um, let's go look the CUDA shaders so I like this one because the water looks a lot better it's blue <laughs> um, yeah all right I'm back so let me show you the water really quick see it's got a nice blue tint to it looks pretty when you go in it it's blue <laughs> It does get really dark though, so like if I go into really deep water, which that looks really deep, I didn't even know that was there. But if you go into really deep water, it gets super dark. So that kind of sucks, but it it's whatever, you know. I'm gonna die because I'm stuck in a current. <laughs> uh oh. All right, we lived. So yeah, I've caught some platypus. Is platypi? Platypi? I have no idea. Um, they're right here. We got four. We got two male and two female. So you know what? The original plan was just for me not to do the platypus exhibit in the first episode because I was building all this stuff and getting started. But since that uh, recording failed, uh, I guess we'll build the platypus exhibit. So, you yeah, guys are lucky <laughs> that my recording abilities suck. <laughs> um, 
I kind of have a rough idea of what what to do and it looks like I need to get some wood so I'm gonna get some wood and then we'll go find a place to put this exhibit uh, see you in a second if you happen to enjoy this episode please like comment and subscribe and and the frame rate is sucky really sucky right now I don't know why it was working fine the first time I tried to record but then again it apparently wasn't recording <laughs> um, so yeah if you if you enjoy this video please like comment and subscribe it will help me out and also then you get to see more Minecraft Zoo videos so it's a win-win situation okay well I was uh sitting here axing this tree down and I saw up in the corner of the map that there's a village over here that I had no idea about so let's go explore this village oh uh, also I have two backpacks already because I found them in villages and you don't get to see that because the stupid recording so yeah I don't see a blacksmith shop anywhere but we can definitely steal these guys books I'm taking all of your knowledge. Now the villagers have no knowledge. Poor guys. Yeah, I don't see any uh any blacksmith shops here. So this was a lame village. But that's fine. Let's go back to our place. And I'll show you where the zoo's gonna be. And yeah, then we can build our platypus exhibit. We're gonna have to do some things first before we can put the platypus in there. The platypi. Uh, but that shouldn't be too hard. We just gotta make some kibble. And um, what else do we have to do? Oh, we have to get some sand. There's sand right here, but I I'm gonna get sand from from our place, and this is where we live. And there's a little turtle here. Hi, buddy. Look, I got a turtle on my shoulder now. All right, bye, guy. I also got a new resource pack for glass, so it looks a lot clearer than uh, in the old videos. Which, if you haven't seen those, you should still go check them out, because they're still pretty cool. But, this is definitely going to be better. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm going to have to get some coal, too, it looks like. So, I'm going to go get some coal, so that our glass continues to smelt, and then... I'll come back to ya. Alright, so we got some glass smelting now, and I've got some more coal, and I also found some gold. So I'm gonna throw this ore in here. And I'm gonna have to figure out how we want to make our platypus exhibit. Alright, I'm gonna plant some trees really quick so that we don't always have to go back over to where we were. And then I'm going to show you where the zoo is going to be. And then we can figure out how we're going to build things. So I know that I want like a outside part and then like an underground viewing area for like underwater viewing because platypus like water. Um, so this is where our zoo is going to be there's big area here if you look at the journey map you can see how big it is we have a lot of room to work with so yeah the platypus exhibit is going to be over here though closer to 
where we spawned and I think um, I don't know maybe like right here this looks like a nice flat place yeah we're gonna do it right here so I'm gonna punch away this grass and then I need to figure out what kind of material to use around the uh, to actually build the exhibit alright I cleared out most of this and an elephant came over to join me and some pigs and a zebra and a kangaroo apparently <laughs> weird hello mr. kangaroo or mrs. kangaroo what are you are you a male or a female? Oh, Mr. Kangaroo. <clears throat> okay. So the plan is is that I'm going to go... I'm going to have to dig this down a little bit. Just because... I'm going to put fence around it. And if it's level, then it's going to look a little weird. But yeah, I'm going to make a quick outline. And then I will get back to you when I'm done with the outline. Alright, so I made a little outline which took like five seconds, so <laughs> yeah. It's not gonna be too terribly big, but there's only what four platypus in here, so it should be good. I'm gonna clear this all out and um, go down one more. Cause um, we can. <laughs> and then I'm going to outline it with uh, some kind of stone. I'm thinking like a, I don't know, more natural pattern. Did my shovel just break? Wow, my shovel broke. So I'm going to have to go get a new shovel, but we'll do a more natural looking stone. And then we can outline it with a fence and put some water in there and then make the underwater viewing area. I'm really hoping that this platypus exhibit turns out as cool as I want it to, which I'm sure it will, because, I mean, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I'm really good at building things. <laughs> um, apparently I'm not good at crafting though, because I forgot how to build a shovel. Wow. Um, I'm just kidding, by the way. I'm not that conceited. <laughs> Look, we got a kangaroo in here. Cool. This is now the kangaroo exhibit. <laughs> Just kidding. You know what? We could even do just like a island over here with water surrounding it. That would look cool too. Mm. I'm going to go with my original plan, which is... Um, this side is going to be land and then it's going to kind of slope down into some water. Which should look quite nice. As long as this kangaroo gets out of here. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm going to have to catch it. Which isn't too big of a deal. I like kangaroos. So this is kind of the design that I'm going for. Or the look, I guess. Um... We have a little different elevations here, so just a tiny little hill there, and then this is all going to be water up to like here, which actually I think I'm going to make this bigger. Basically this whole half is going to be water, and then that's going to be the underwater viewing area, and uh, then the walls are going to kind of look like something like this. I've been changing between different types of stone and yeah there's gonna be some tr tree some some logs some logs in here and uh, I'll see you when I get some more done all right <clears throat> so I added some tree trunks in here so because I think otters like that or not otters <laughs> platypus um, and I did the glass and finished the walls 
And I missed a piece apparently. Um, shh, there we go. That one's fine. So now we basically just have to do the fence around it, uh, make a little building in there, and um, put the platypus in here. I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to start on the building, and I'll see you guys in a minute, a second. It's going to be a second for you guys. All right. So I made the building. I haven't done the walls or anything. I just dug it out and did the roof and it's looking quite nice. It's going to look a lot better when there's water in here, but our platypus exhibit has turned into a kangaroo exhibit. Oh no. <laughs> so we're going to have to catch this guy and set him free but first we should probably put a fence around this so that doesn't happen again um, so we can do that and then we'll make the path around this and well first we're gonna finish the inside of the building and then we'll make the path around it and yeah we're almost done and then we can probably get the kibble and release the platypuses platypi I don't know, man. I have no idea what the plural is. But yeah, we're really close to being done. And it's gonna look awesome. Cause platypus are cute. All right, so I have pretty much finished. I mean, we still have the path to do around it and I gotta get the kangaroo out, but I finished the underwater viewing area we still need to put water in here, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, and then you can walk up here. This will be a path around here. And um, once I get more wood, we can finish the fence. But right now we got to catch this. Oh. Apparently you have to tranquilize the kangaroo, you gotta, I forgot about that. So in the new update, um, the animals have to be either tranquilized or asleep before you can catch them. So I'm going to have to wait until nighttime to catch the kangaroo because I completely forgot about that. Dang it. Just hurt a kangaroo for no reason. That's sad. Um, yeah, so now I guess I'm gonna get some more wood and finish the fence and then I'll finish the path too and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, King Roo's asleep, so now is our chance. Hopefully this works. Uh, I gotta tranquilize it. I thought it said that it could be asleep. And it would work, but I guess not. Dang it. Actually, I'm not even going to put that one in yet because I'm going to use that to get out. So apparently, I can't catch this kangaroo. Um, how do you make a tranquilizer? And that's the wrong button. Tranquilizer gone. What's this? tranquilizer dart and fermented spider eye? Well, the kangaroo's out of here now, but we had to murder it. That's terrible. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh, that's sad. Well, I'm going to do the path around this and then actually I'm going to put the water in and then I'll do the path around it and I'll come back to you guys. All right. <clears throat> so we put the water in and it's looking pretty darn good if you ask me. So now all we have to do is build the path and put the platypus in here. The platypi. 
I still have no idea. <laughs> so I'm going to start on the path and then again, I'll get back to you guys. So I'll see you in a second. So I just asked Google what the plural of platypus was. She said platypuses, but platypi is also acceptable. So I was right on both of them. That's how good I am at being smarts. <laughs> so if you're wondering what the plural for platypus was, um, yeah, it's, it's platypuses and platypi. It's whatever you want it to be, I guess. All right, guys. So dang it. I forgot my fence. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I finished the path around it and I brought the animals, but I don't have my fence, which they can't get out. So we can put them in here and then put the fence back in a second. So let's get the platypi out and this and oh I forgot they changed that okay well let's see what you are male just one is hopefully a female oops okay good so we have a male and a female so I I really don't like this new update because they take more kibble and so I feel like this is going to take a while to tame them because um, I have to get fish and stuff but yeah so I'm going to go get the fence and then try to make more kibble but I don't have enough fish to make more kibble so I guess I'll be back and then We'll try to tame them because I totally forgot that there was that update that made everything more difficult. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. So, I got them tamed, and they're doing good. So we can take that dirt block away and put our fence back up and <clears throat> dang it <laughs> let me go to bed and then i'll show you show you what we got all right so this is the outside looking pretty good you can see the platypi in there <clears throat> and then the path is all done i think i already showed you the path but if we go down here, we can watch them swim. Um, the water is a little blue. It looks like Kool-Aid, but you can still see them. And I think they look really nice in here. So that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this, as I said before, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode when we find something else fun to do. And thank you for watching and have a wonderful time.